Greta Cohn is is a wonderful character. She's all very she she is very subtle. She's a quiet character, and she she's responsible for putting together the most wonderful collection of modern art. And I think that what's really important to Etta is that she she sees in art what she can't find in people. And I think that says a lot about the character. So it's very interesting to bring my dance background into a play that, you know, doesn't have um, a musical, you know, um, like score to it the same way a, a musical theater play does. So that'll be interesting. And it's always nice to get a chance to tell a story through movement rather than just words, which Odalise gets to do. And she has a role in all these beautiful women's stories and their growth and their journeys. And she gets to be involved in that in her own little way. Um, her presence is so strong and it's beautiful. When you see her, you feel her, you get, feel like you know her. But at the same time, she's a little mysterious. Clarabelle was American royalty. And by that, I mean, at the turn of the century, and in a large, wealthy American family, there were 12 siblings in all in the Cone family. The older ones lorded it over the younger ones. So throughout the play, you see Etta cooking, cleaning, running errands, and doing anything else that's required for Clarabelle's comfort. Gertrude Stein, what an amazing personality and an outstanding role to play because she was larger than life and over many decades led a very famous salon in Paris of writers, painters, musicians, uh, mainly expats from all over the world. People like uh, Picasso, Matisse, Rousseau, James Joyce, Hemingway came to her salon. And Gertrude Stein was one of the mothers of modern art. I mean, she discovered Picasso and Matisse when they were young and unknown. Imagine that. She, she while she was very much Gertrude's helper and a major uh, piece of the success of Gertrude's career, she wasn't a pushover. Uh, and that is something that Ariana captures in the script that when Alice wasn't happy about something, she let Gertrude know. And one of the things that she wasn't happy about was Anna Cohn, um, who had previously worked with Gertrude and had a personal relationship, there was definitely some animosity between the two of them. It was kind of a jealousy, it seemed. And so Alice was make some kind of pointed comments toward Etta. Mm -hmm. 